Hey, it's Ramsey Dewey over here in Shanghai, China. Welcome to another edition of Q&A with a Coach. Today we have a question from Rob Tigitik. Rob, I'm going to call you Rob. We have a question from Rob. Rob says, what size gloves do you guys use in MMA touch sparring? I feel the little MMA gloves can be a bit too hard when you accidentally land more solidly, but the 16 ounce gloves are unrealistic because it's hard to grapple and gives the fighters a false view of the defensive application of covering up. Well, there's always the uh, middle ground, the hybrid grappling gloves with the extra padding on the fist. But more important than anything, notice you said touch sparring. When touch sparring, you should use enough control that you can do it without any gloves on at all, because nobody should be getting injured during touch sparring. In light contact sparring, however, which is what you should be doing most of the time. Yeah. Here's a standard MMA glove. What is that, like four ounces? Barely any padding on it. It's pretty stiff, pretty hard, right? And in sharp contrast, there's a 16 ounce glove. One of these is not like the other. Like you said, yeah, you're not gonna be able to do effective grappling in a giant 16 ounce glove. And at the same time, in a giant 16-ounce glove, you should not be hurting your training partners. I'm a very outspoken opponent of hard sparring. You don't need that noise on the regular. You don't. Most of your sparring should be light and technical. Hard sparring should be the rare exception, not the norm. So, if you're sparring the way you should, in my estimation, and I've released uh, so many hours of footage of sparring on my channel with grappling gloves, with MMA gloves, even the little ones, not even the big puffy hybrid ones. You should spar with that level of control most of the time. If you don't have that level of control, keep chipping at it until you do. Now, one thing that makes it difficult in a boxing glove, if you're doing light contact sparring, the difference between a full contact strike and a light contact strike is essentially what your hand is doing on impact. If you keep your hand loose and open inside the glove, you can go full speed or pretty close to it without delivering a full contact strike with a light contact strike. But if you squeeze your hand on impact, boom, you got this nice rock in the middle of that glove. Even at half speed, you're going to do some damage. We don't have that luxury with an MMA, an MMA glove, unfortunately, because it's open-handed. And so if I keep my hand open, what am I doing? I'm finger jabbing you in the eyes. So I've got to keep my hands more closed, but not tight on impact. So something like that as opposed to something like that. If that helps, I hope so. I would recommend do a lot of balancing drills, especially for kicks. I mean, you can wear shin guards, and there are shin guards that are thinner and smaller and less bulky that you can still grapple in. And I would recommend get some of those. But you're gonna have to pull your punches, you're gonna have to pull your kicks. If you don't know how to do that, well, maybe get a willing guinea pig partner to practice pulling punches on pulling kicks on. Be very, very careful. Think, how light can I possibly touch him while still getting the message across? I am in the correct position. Not the message across to him, but to you. I am in the correct position to land this punch with efficacy. I'm in the correct position to land this kick, but without damaging your training partner. Hope that helps. So what's more important than the training equipment, because you can hurt people with either one of these. I can knock people out and mark them up with these. I can knock people out and mark them up with these. In fact, I can hit harder with these because there's more padding. So I can put more of everything into this and rock the brain around quite a bit more. Whereas with this, if I put everything into it, I'm more likely to injure my own hands. 
few different variables going on there. I hope that helps. But check out those hybrid grappling gloves. I don't have any here at home. They're all at the gym right now. But um, you still need to use control, but they do give you a bit more margin of error in case you put a little extra something behind the punches. Thanks for watching. Now get out there and train.